what we've just experienced from earlier this morning is the first fruit of a program that was began in 2010 by Minister Google and Quint um, to wage war against rural poverty. So we began by recruiting in each of over 2,300 rural district municipalities in the country, four young people, two um, females and uh, two young uh, men, to come into the program um, to be trained to become agents of change in their own areas. It's a program that is designed um, to expose the young people in their own areas, you know, what poverty is actually looking like in their own areas. And then the next phase will be then to take them um, to the army to go through a process of developing some discipline. And many of these young people are coming from homes without a, an authority figure. They would then stay in the army. From the army, they would then go to a, an FET college to be trained in practical skills. Um, the, the, the exit point would then be either they get absorbed in the uh, conventional world of work, or we would then assist them in starting their own enterprises. So what we saw today here is just over 6,700 young people um, that had finished um, the whole training you know, that took place in the FET colleges in 12 categories. There's a variety of interventions that these young people could do. One of those is, that is to actually instill in the other young people in their own communities that haven't been to the army, for instance, that sense of discipline to become the big brothers that actually lead others I mean, to leading you know, um, conventional lives. The next thing that they would, would, would do is to actually get into enterprises themselves. Right, and employ other young people in their own communities right, as, um, as job givers rather than job seekers. This is the, just the beginning of a very, very long and hard, dusty road right, of not just self-development, a road of contributing in their own communities you know, as agents of change. So it's going to require a lot of character, you know, perseverance, you know, long suffering, you know, and um, kindness also, you know, and a sense of actually giving to be developed amongst themselves. It really make an impact in the community, especially in the rural areas whereby young people have been recruit recruited in the program and they receive a stipend each and every month and they, they better their lives with that as well. I saw youth graduating today and they're from 2010 and then they can um, go to, to, the, to our community and uh, make a huge impact there. Yeah, they can help them by sharing information, by teaching them what they've learned, sharing skills. I was amongst the officials that flew to China with 38 of these young people. We were invited there by a World Bank program um, by the Institute of Poverty Reduction um, in China, right, to be really just taught about how China as a nation is tackling poverty. What NARSEC have done now, it was very much important to take the youth out there because uh, most of the people to the group that I went with to China, they, 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 their mindsets have already been changed because they were like saying, I wish I can be young and start afresh to do things differently. Um, NARSEC sent us to China to first look at the SMME development market. As you would know that China uh, economy is largely concentrated within SMMEs and one of my experiences was going to a province called Sichuan where we met 300 uh, uh, family uh, focused cooperative in metals. They came together as a family, as different families and went to government and asked for assistance and what they did was uh, they produced small metals and today that company is an industry on its own. Narisek has given us skills that we are able now to take forward and say to, uh, to the sectors out there, we are available, number one. Number two, to also start businesses, initiatives. We are trained in various fields such as construction, uh, administration and so forth. So th these are critical uh, skills in the artisans such as construction. Uh, already we have a built project that is going to take place in the country so young people are available i can only say to the private sector come to rural development assist in absorbing some of these young people the road is still very very long we're just starting the road right and we're just hoping that god is going to give us his choicest blessings that this work should be more and more successful